This week there's been lots of activity at the Amana and we've had a couple of big projects, one complete, one start. But you'll remember last week we were trying to decide on the colour of the paint for the outside of the house. And I was pretty unsure, we'd gone through lots of different samples. Well, we finally decided on this colour and it's called Mocha Latte. And um, we have now started painting. We painted this, which is the front part of the house. And it's really made it look like sandstone, which is just, it, it's come out much better than I expected. And I was finding it really, really hard to decide on the color. So now I've seen it um, with the paint on the wall, I'm really pleased with it. A lot of the paint on the house was actually in pretty good shape, but there were sections like this piece here where all the paint had rippled and cracked and we tried painting the new paint over and it just was not going to work. You could see all those ripples underneath. And so I've decided that I'm actually going to scrape the paint off the section by the front door um, just because people walk up and are very, very close and, and I want that that wood and that siding to look really good. Um, so right now I am stripping, uh, let me step down here, I'm stripping all the paint off so that it's ready for filling, sanding and then putting the new paint on. One of the things I love as I'm stripping off the paint is being able to see these beveled edges of the wood that make it look like stone and the new paint really highlights that even more. One of the first rooms that we worked on when we moved into the manor was the kitchen. It was in really bad shape and so we pretty much gutted it. We took out all the cabinets, we replaced them, the appliances. And we still have quite a lot to do. There's still lots of um, mouldings that need to be finished, paint, tile. But all the kind of main pieces have been done except for the countertops. And it's kind of ironic that Stephen works for a countertop company and yet it's taken us a year to actually get countertops. But over the last year, Stephen built me these great plywood countertops. And actually, to be honest, they've worked fantastically well. Um, they're very, very functional. They just don't look too great. So this week was a big week and I was really excited because we had chosen a soapstone uh, countertop and uh, I've been waiting for a long, long time to actually see it in the kitchen. And so this week it actually arrived. We went with a black soapstone for the countertops, which is a slightly softer material than granite, but it has this lovely aged look, which we really like, and, and it has a beautiful grain. And we have some mineral beeswax oil that we are going to uh, rub into the countertops, which will really bring out the depth and the grain and make it actually look quite a lot darker. But it goes so beautifully with our big wooden countertop on the island in the kitchen. If you've been following us, you probably know that our wooden piece on the top of our island in the kitchen is from a bowling alley. It's actually from a bowling alley floor and it's the only part of the kitchen that we actually kept. We gutted everything else, but we kept this piece and refinished it and put it back on the island. And you can actually see here on the end where the nails were used to make the floor and Stephen cut through them when he was squaring this off and we've kept them um, as a reminder of the heritage of this piece of wood. One of the hardest parts of doing a project this size is the feeling that you want everything to be perfect and finished before you show people and invite people around. And with the manor this big, we're just gonna be here a long time before everything's finished. So as it was our first anniversary of moving in, we decided to have a dinner party and invite our friends and celebrate our progress. So we set up our table in our dining room that isn't finished and um, has lots of holes in the wall, but 
it still looked great and we created a gin bar for people to enjoy and we pulled out some different decor and furniture from around the house uh, and used different flowers and plant plots and uh, decor to hide the, the holes in the wall and created something really special and it was a great reminder to us that it doesn't all have to be finished uh, before we celebrate and we should be celebrating the small steps as well as the big ones. The other big project that started this week was the installation of our wood burning stove in the room behind us. We had a very, very cold winter last year in the manor and so we decided that we weren't going through another winter without a wood burning stove. So uh, it's, this week we started the process of um, putting the flue and the liner in and then getting the wood burning stove in. And the great thing is we're able to use the original brick chimney that's behind me and um, we're having to bring it up to code, but um, we're working on getting that all put together so that the stove can go in probably in the next couple of weeks. So work started on the roof to get the chimney ready. And downstairs to brick up the old fireplace ready for the wood burning stove. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find brick that's exactly the same, and we got some that were close in color, but they weren't quite the same size. So we have the fireplace now bricked up, and we're considering ways to and ideas to finish it. While we think about what we're gonna do with the brick, our next job is to take out this big piece of sandstone and cut out the wood to replace it with tile ready for the wood burning stove to go in. So we're going to get to work getting this big piece of sandstone out of here and we'll see you next week on the next episode of Ladysmith Manor Diaries. Mm -hmm.